issue of public confidence, though, what's your opinion about what's happening here in northeastern Pennsylvania with the corruption that, that we're seeing with that level from school boards on up to we're not sure where yet? If, if voters are seeing that in their elected representatives, where, where does the confidence come from? Well, I, I think uh, actually you should take it as a good thing. It's a system self-cleansing. Uh, if you covered it up and didn't have the corruption exposed, it would continue to exist. It's unfortunate we have corruption. But, quite frankly, historically speaking, we've had corruption since the Greek period that we know of quite clearly. It's always been around. It's part of human nature. Our problem is to construct institutions and methodologies to lessen or prevent it. It's always that terrible fight. It's a yin and a yang, if you will, or it's, uh, uh, as, I, as I describe, you know, what our uh, uh, free enterprise system is all about and the capitalist system is all about. It's, it's like nuclear energy, and it's attempting to go critical, and we're trying to contain it. Well, we're trying to do the same thing with uh, some of the weaknesses of human nature. Are you surprised by the extent of it? I'm disappointed, yeah. I'm disappointed in some of the people. I know a lot of the people. Uh, I, 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 and, and quite unfortunately, it's prevailing in, in both my major county, Luzerne County, and Lackawanna County. Uh, are they unique to the rest of the world? No. Uh, you know, there, there are uh, uh, methods and uh, means of corruption all over. I, as a matter of fact, in the United States, not nearly as, as much as in foreign countries. Go to Mexico and try and do business and, and see what has to be paid. It's very direct down here. Here, here it's more difficult because it's much, much uh, suppressed, if you will. But it does exist, and it's our responsibility, both elected officials and public officials and the public, to act responsibly when it's discovered or it occurs, to prosecute it, to investigate it and to bring it and expose it in the public. And that will strengthen the, the, the system. Have you ever been approached to do anything unethical and how do you handle those situations? You know, that's funny that you should ask that question because 25 years in public office, I, 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 I was thinking there's something wrong with me. I must have stinky socks or something because I haven't attracted a lot of those people and I wondered why. What was I giving off? Uh, I've never been part of the establishment. You know, I've always been anti-establishment. So nobody quite feels comfortable enough, I think, that's my explanation, to approach me. But have I been approached? Not directly, but sufficiently indirectly to just cut it off, not to have a conversation. I've made one practice. You can meet very few people that have ever had the occasion to meet with me one on one. I, I, the other day with the president, we met one on one, but I trust the president. But it's, it's not that I don't trust other people. I always have a, an aide who I have faith in with me. Karen does 90% of it, but I have others in Washington. I'm always with somebody. And the reason is I may misconstrue what was talked about, and, and uh, you know, and these things, I, I, don't, I doubt whether uh, uh, attempts at corruption are, are so clear that anybody would recognize them. They're probably very subtle, particularly at the level I'm dealing at, it would be rather subtle. I want to make sure that we know what happened. And as a result, and I, I think by reputation. So my answer is, I think I may have, but so minimally and so long ago, that it didn't matter to me. And yet I've dealt with uh, uh, all the public officials in all these counties over the years. So I've obviously dealt with some that were corrupt. Thank you.